Yo, what's up? Let's head up here. 106. The crew show. Aquí con mi amigo. Don't know what he just said. Dustin Skipworth from the liftoff. Put your hat on, bro. Represent. There we go. Power 106. Power 106. We're out here covering the red carpet for Chris Brown. Welcome to my life. Bienvenido a mi vida. Also don't remember that, but uh, Lechero, give him a dance move. Chris Brown uh, for hold me. Up. I was trying to... Look, what? Is nah. that where it's still popular or not? I go with the Michael Jackson one. Though. Ah! Oh, that's... I, don't, I, got, I got no package I'm for gonna that, I'm going to see bro. if Chris Brown can do that when he comes down here, okay? <laughs> Let's get it. Power 106. Number, number one, one for hip-hop. hip-hop. That was good. Hey, yo, real quick, off bat. You uploaded a video of you humping Crystal B. Yeah. Oh, you, did you see me getting it? Yes. I, was, I was getting it, bro. I was trying I was, to get it. She looked down, but she kind of was trying she, to stay on course. She told me to ask you, like, yo, ask him, like, yo, what the? <laughs> you was getting it, though. I'm going to do it again. Is that a dance move? Again, nah, Crystal I'm not going to do it again. B? She might have, have people watching and recording. I can't. Uh-oh. I wanted to crump battle you, man, on, on the red carpet, but I don't know. My suit, my, I can't Ooh. dance in my suit. You fly tonight. I was trying to, I, I'm, I'm walking straight like, look. Swaggy. I ain't trying to move too much. Yeah. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you, Congratulations bro. on uh, your daughter's third birthday. Thank you. Man. Earlier on in the month. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday to her. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, why in 2017 yeah. is this so important to you for you to tell your story to your fans, the world, and L.A. especially? Well, you know, right now I'm 28, so I think... It was some time for me to learn. I had to learn and grow and learn myself and also make my mistakes so I can at least learn you have to and talk about it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, people have to get comfortable with themselves in a the mirror before they can, you know, step out into the world and try to make change. And you're there now? So I think I'm, I'm getting to that transition. Every I love day it. is a learning, learning a step for me. Every day is a challenge, but also a great challenge. You know what I'm saying? Fatherhood is great to me. Yeah. You know, and I still get to uh, have my wonderful family. I love the look of you when you say about fatherhood. I love that look, the smile you <laughs> oh, yeah. get so, your Because it's genuine. My man. You know? Yeah. Real shit. I appreciate it. Last one. You can ask for more. Go for it. Go for it. You fell in love with hip hop when? Shit. <laughs> first artist you heard, first album you bought. I think I was born in the hip hop. I, I love that. You a legend. Real I, I, shit. I, I can't. I can't never. Hip hop is me. It's in yes. me. It's gonna be there. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank I appreciate you. Thank you for coming out to Power Who you got in the, who you got in the NBA? In the finals, I'm still a Cavs fan. Oh. The Warriors are my homies, but you know, they stack, so I'm going with them. Yo, he said it calves. All right, we're here with Andrew Sandler, so one of the producer and director of the film. Director, yep. Talk to me about this baby that you have created over three years. <laughs> it really does feel like a baby, doesn't it? Three yeah, you years. Know, it's, been a, it's been a long process, man. We're finally here. It's been three years in the making. Um, flew all over the country to make this happen, interviewing all different kinds of celebs. So it's amazing to finally be here and see the film come out in theaters. Why do you believe that this is such an important message and film for Chris? in 2017 to tell his story? Um, you know, Chris has never really told a side of the story. You know, this is an opportunity for him to really say what's on his mind. And, and you know, everybody else controls the narrative and this is his time to control the narrative. Love it. Yeah. Um, I wanted to, oh, this is something that I wanted to ask, is working with Chris, he's been up with us at Power 106 plenty of times. Yeah. He's so focused and so on his game. Yeah. How is it working with such an artist like that? I mean, you know, before I did the documentaries, I did, you know, music videos with him and riveting entertainment yeah. for, for a while. And I have to say he's the most hands-on artist I've, I've ever worked with. You know, he's focused. He knows exactly what he wants uh, with the visuals at the end of the day. So I was just lucky to be able to let him, uh, let him, let me tell the story for his documentary. In the trailer, it has a, a moment where it flashes uh, artist, rapper, friend, brother. The last one is human. Yeah. Why did you put that one there? You know, I think a lot of people, you know, don't don't realize or understand that at the end of the day, Chris Brown is is human. He's just like all yep. of us, you know. Yep. Um, we only see, you know, him in the spotlight or, you know, him when he makes a mistake. And people don't forget there's another side to that story. What's it like working with Mary J. Freaking yeah. Lige, bro? She's fucking amazing. He said she's Fucking, you can cuss, bro. No, you can cuss, bro. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mary is so, Mary's so incredible. I was lucky enough to do to do Chris's doc and Mary's doc. Um, Mary's came out last week on VH1, and she's just such a sweetheart, so incredible to work with. Yeah. Um, you know, I got to spend two months with her in the studio while she recorded her new album, and that was just like insane to watch her. You know. 10 feet away from me, like, work. What's what's next? You, you did Mary J. Blige documentary, Chris Brown documentary. Yeah. What's on the cards? Is there already something ready? Um, you know, we have something lined up I can't really talk about. Are you going to be DJ Khaled right now? You're going to say, I be can't. ready. Is it a guy? I can't. A, it a is, male? It is, it, is cool. it is a male. Okay. Um, I'm going to say I Justin Bieber. I can't talk about it yet, but, okay. but uh, I have to say, um, it's a... Uh, I don't even know what I can say about it. Come um, on, man. LA. Is it I can't LA? Really say is anything. It LA? Is he from, I would say he's, he's from the he's States. From Miami and uh, Miami and Philadelphia. Ooh, so. We're about to get on Google right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm thinking like DJ Khaled or something. Uh, I was yeah. gonna say pit, a pit bull, bro. True. 
Love it. We're excited to see yeah. the film. Thank you. Guys. And who have you got in the uh, NBA NBA playoffs right now? Oh man, Warriors are gonna sweep, man. Yes, <laughs> finally. I love that. Okay, I'm here with Andrew Listerman, producer of one of the biggest documentaries to come out in our lifetime. I would have to say. Talk to me about why it was so important for Chris to tell this story right now. It wasn't about right now. It's been three years in the works. So mm -hmm. we've been working with Chris on this film for three years. Um, we didn't know when it was gonna come out. We, we were gonna put it out last year. Situations kept unfolding with him. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted to get a tour out. Um, right now is just the perfect timing. Our partner Fathom Events, who put on this theatrical release, were in 420 theaters. Mm -hmm. um, they helped us plan this date right after his tour. It just worked out beautifully. How in depth is Chris in the pro process of putting together this movie? Is he hands on in there helping the cuts? No. Or does he kind of stand back and just wait for a rough cut to be shown to him? He saw three edits. Wow. He only saw three edits. Yeah. When only did he three? see the last edit? Like, how long is the time period from when he saw that last edit to today? Four to six months. Okay. Man. Yeah, January. It's last Massi, my ex. Yeah. <laughs> what's it, honestly, what's it like working with Chris? We know that he's so dedicated to his craft, whether it's dancing, music, writing. What is it working with someone of his caliber? Um, I mean, Chris is a genius. At the end of the day, he's one of the most talented people I've ever worked with, and I've done videos for everybody you can think of. So um, he not only directs his videos, he choreographs his videos, he's involved in the styling, the yeah. fashion. Um, with this particular film, he really gave us the trust to go out there and shoot, mm -hmm. edit, and then show him what we want wanted to help him portray. Yeah. He helped set up some of the interviews. If we needed to get J-Lo or we needed to get Mike Tyson, Chris would send a text or a call to help us land those. But otherwise, Man. he removed himself from the process. He let us do our thing. Yeah. Um, and then when he saw the edits, he gave minor feedback. But really, he wanted this to be other people's voices with him as like the storyline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris has had like crazy highs and crazy lows over the, you know, his career. Um, I feel like 2017 is honestly a great time for to be talking about these subjects and to be people are really understanding and people are ready to forgive and to work through them. Do you think that 2017 would have been any different if this film came out in say 2014 when it started? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, right now he's 28 years old. Yeah. He's a man. Mm -hmm. You know, four, three, four years ago, 24, 25 years old, you're still young. Like, I'm 33. It's almost For 30. Yeah. You're like 25. Easy. You know Everybody says that. Easy, yeah. bro. No, I'm 33. But, um, you know, when I put myself when I put myself in his shoes, um, at his age, like, he's obviously been in the spotlight for a long time. So, I, I, God bless him. Like, I couldn't have done that. Yeah. And now, where he's at right now, he's, he's, a, he's a grown man. He's got a daughter. Mm -hmm. He's mature. He's on. He's about his business. Yeah. He's focused. He's never been in a better place. We love we love uh, Chris over at Power Assist because he always comes out and plays in our uh, all-star basketball games. Basketball question. Only one I want to ask Let's you. Go. Who are you picking? The Cavs or the Warriors? Who? I am from Ohio. Cincinnati, okay. Ohio. So Cleveland all day. You I know. Are you going to come back from this? I mean, I, at the end of the day, I got to show love. Okay. I'll, at the end, But at the same time, I'm not the biggest NBA fan. I'm okay. more NFL. Okay. But I mean, LeBron, Cavs. Yeah, we would be I'm the same there with the spirit. Lakers. Even if we were 3 0. I'm yeah, the same with the Lakers. No, I am. I love the back. Lakers. I mean, I got so much love for the Lakers, too. Yeah. Perfect. Man. Andrew, thank you so much. We're so excited. To thank you guys for coming out. Man, for sure. Definitely. We're Appreciate excited. Thank you very yeah. much. We're going to keep it hood. Bring it in. You guys are We love power and riveting, too. That's what's up. Man, thank you. We bump you guys all day at the office. Oh, Cap G's coming up. Yo, what are you gonna ask Cap, bro? I'm about to get him like the Migra out right now. Yo, if you fell in love with hip hop when? Oh my god! When I was in kindergarten. Who'd you hear? Tip. Tip. You heard it. You heard it. Tip. T I P. Yeah. Any, any, would you ever work with Tip? I, I don't know. Have you worked with Tip? I already worked with Tip. That's my big brother. So. Yeah? Carnal? Yeah, yeah. Hey, tome medio pendejo, wey. So my bad, G Pedro. Por la pregunta. I'm gonna keep it real, See, I don't even know what you were saying. Hey, right homie, now. we vibing right now. Get out the conversation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Lechero's sneaking stuff in his pockets in here to the movies. He got? always. I'm Mexican, dog. No, you know I gotta sneak it through. What do you got? I ain't hey, paying ten dollars for the popcorn. Phone, I'm good. Hey, I'm don't be recording the movie and bootlegging it. And I got my passport with me. I gotta hit the airport after this. Where are you, Where are you going? To? I'm going back to the A. Back home. Back to the castle. I've never been to the A. What, what's out there, bro? What's popping? Magic City. Is that a strip club? Yep. No. Filey's, American Deli, Waffle House, whatever you want. Man. Cap hey. G, the people want new music from you. Talk to them. What is coming up from Cap G right now? Uh, right now, I'm dropping a new project, probably like the end of the summer, okay. July, around July. Uh, I'm working on it right now. I just dropped another project called Super Hefe. It's going crazy. I got my boy Chris Brown on there. It's going crazy, though. Love We're it. working. Love it. Cap G, man. Idolo, man. Thank you for putting on for the Mexicans. Thanks for supporting out here. Cap G. Power 06, Lechero, Crucio.
OT Genesis is here. I yeah, forgot to say man. my name. I was going to say yeah, your name. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm here, man. How excited are you for this Chris Brown documentary? Excited, man. Very excited, man. You get to see my brother, man, when he's just kicking it and chilling and just giving everybody the facts. So I got, I'm got, i here. I'm for, here for it. Yo, could I see the ice real quick, bro? Oh, yeah. Lay it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, yeah. I don't know if you can get that, but he's looking like the chandelier oh, up yeah. top. Look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He out here iced yeah, out. Yeah, like, this is like work, bro. Like real quick, music question. I fell in love with hip-hop when? You when I, for the first time? Um, you know what? When um probably when Snoop did uh Upside Your Head. You know what I mean? And I didn't even know that was a sample. You know what I mean? Ooh. Snoop. Upside your head, it said Snoop. You know I'm a long beat, so you know what I mean? <laughs> this one was like you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm feeling it right now. Snoop Dogg, man. Yeah, so yeah, Snoop Dogg yeah. inspired you to get into music. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Snoop. Basically Snoop, yeah. yeah. Long Beach, yeah. Have you met him? I heard a lot of people. That's my dog. That's your dog? Yeah, I brought him out to the party tour, formed together. Too. I'm dumb, so I ask stupid questions, dog. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> just, say that. OT, I'm sorry, man. This That's may be a stupid question, but it's 2 0 in the, in the NBA playoffs right now. Warriors are up 2 0. KD is on fire. Who you got? Who you got? Let me tell you something. Tell me. Talk I'm gonna to keep me. It, I'm going to keep it real with you. Real. I'm a Lakers fan, right? Yes. Like, so am I. But I'm going to keep it Cali all the way. You got I've you. Already, already said that. And I told everybody before the season started, I said, look, they're going to win this ship. It's a big difference. Everybody told me no. You know why they told me no? Tell me. They said, they don't have their bench anymore. I you said, play. Bro. I said, bro, trust me. They're going to figure it out. The same thing that LeBron had to figure it out with Wade. Yes. When, they, when he first went to the Heat, they lost, like, I don't know how many. They looked horrible. Yeah. Until the middle of the season, it got lit. So I told them, they'll figure it out. So what's it, gonna go, it out. what's it going down to? I say, you really want to say it? Yeah, say it. You say it for me. Say it. Say it. Say it. Broom. Ooh, sweep it up. OT Sagan's Broom. I'm about to tell Justin Credible and Sour Milk about that because they're going wow. for the Cavs, my brother. Everybody thought, everybody's thinking 5-1. I don't think so. No, no, no. 4-0. Oh, we're out of here. I don't think so. Sweeping. I, all I'm saying is we have more. Listen, listen. Sweeping. Listen, it's more than just that, bro. It's, it's more. You, you see them OT, you wilding, boy. You see I, them didn't say, I didn't want to say it. No, I didn't want to say it. Nobody believes it. Nobody believes that. And so they see the 3-0. When everybody see 3-0, then it's everybody, over. then nobody will say it. Nah, Man. I'm with it. OT. <laughs> tomorrow. Man. When, when did you first uh, kind of digest Chris Brown music and the performer that he was? Do you remember the first yeah. song or when it was? I was a teen. No, nah, I, was, I was less than a teen. I was about, when Chris Brown came, hold on. Well, Chris Brown, 2004 was one of his first songs. We so run, it, 14, run it, run it, yeah, run it was 2004. Yeah, yeah, like 14, we played that on Power 106. I was a young boy, you know what I'm saying? I was seeing him on TV like, oh yeah, that boy got flavor. You know what I'm saying? All the girls liked him in school. I was kind of jealous, but you know, everybody get their shot. And look at you today. Today you're at the yeah, premiere of Chris yeah, Brown's yeah, documentary. Life changed. What Life do you expect from this documentary, kind of uh, being seeing Chris Brown's career yeah. in the last, you know, five, ten years? I'm excited to see it, you know what I'm saying? Because I seen a preview on uh, social media. Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, my boy doing a documentary. It's it would be interesting, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. My boy got a, a, a good legacy out here. He's been putting out great music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, this shit should be interesting. I ain't know it was an album 40 minutes. I'm like a Titanic movie right now, boy. You bring some snacks, you bring some snacks in here. What you sneaking in, bro? I ain't sneaking in shit. I, I, I pay, no, I I pay no money for snacks, bro. $15 for popcorn. For popcorn. You I'm tripping. Okay, Cam, okay, before we get out of here, yeah. who's taking the NBA championships? Oh, the Warriors. The Warriors. KD going with the ring. I love LeBron, I love Kyrie, but KD taking that thing, you dig?